Right, just carrying on a little bit more video and then what I'll do, because I've already explained, I'm going to be walking back down through the wood to pick up a bridle path. It will, I've got no idea where it'll bring me out, but I'm going to do it today. Seems appropriate, rather than just hopping on a bus, you know. And I'm going to... What are you going to do then? There'll still be quite a lot of road walking to do, unfortunately. Um, but if I knew the way from the walnut tree or whatever it's called pub, I could cut through these states. But I'm not, I'm not quite sure of the route. I haven't done it for a long time. I don't really want to be messing around walking in, in housing estates on a hot day, you know. Um, so anyway, anyway, it's all part of the exploring, but I just want to do it. I met two young girls a minute ago, having a lovely walk, um, enjoying the peace. And what I'm saying is when I get to the next style, I'm going to carry on taking photos, right? I'm going to carry on taking photos, but I'm not going to video until I get to the new area of exploration, which will be the bridle path. Now, it seems quite nice to be able to do a different way back, rather than just going through Bleeding again, which is a long hike. It is a long hike. It's going to be a long hike, whatever I do, I think. Um, but I don't really want to end it by thinking, I'll oh, just hop on a bus again, you know. Even though I've been walking for hours, since 10 o'clock actually it was. Um, but I do like walking through here, I love this wood. And it's nice to, to come to the wood to cool you down, you know, for cooling. It's amazing, you know, a number of people go out on a hot day and they don't take any water. Um, I wonder if they, why they get a headache later. But, you know, it's amazing really how people don't carry water with them in the summer. So here we are then, back to the fields of lovely silvery grass and butterflies were greeting me all the way along. Skipping and hopping and dancing before me. Look at them all, beautiful. Beautiful. Over and out. Over and out, everyone. See you again, Wood. Right then, six hours ago I was walking up here. I thought I'd just do a quick little video on the way down because the perspective does tend to be different. As you can see, we've got loads of blackberry bushes. And because I've been coming out here a lot more than usual because of the Covid thing, I've noticed the different seasons and I'm just a bit more aware now of what, what actually grows out here. Now you can see it's very damp and it's still quite slippery. Because we had a lot of rain, we had some very, very heavy rain last week. <sighs> At night as well. Lots of little birds tweetering. It's very peaceful in here. Because it's only quarter past four, I don't mind about strolling back on the unknown bridle path and then see where it goes after that, to be quite honest. I don't like going near roads, but it's better to do that because otherwise I, what it is, I could wait for that bus to come, which would be about five o'clock, down the bottom of this hill here, and get home, you know, in one piece. Or I can explore, and I think I should explore. 
I've got food, I've been drinking, I'm not dehydrated. It's very, very slippery. These pebbles, it'd hurt your ass a lot if you fell. Scene. It's beautiful, isn't it? And the birds chirping. Of course, if anyone local watches that, they say, oh, we know that bridal path. But there's a lot of people that don't. I met two women on horses today, and they were on a bridal path as I was going past the plantation and down towards Banwell and the bridge over the motorway. I stopped to let them by because they were going down. Um, where were they going? They were going into a field through a gate. And I asked them if they knew if it was possible to walk through Banwell Wood. And they said they've never been down that road. They live, a, they, they were going toward home which must have been across a field, I suppose. And they didn't know. They'd never been down that lane. And yet they rode their horses sort of round the plantation and all that sort of thing, but never had bothered to have a look. So, uh, or even walk it. I thought, oh, I was quite surprised. But this happens. It's the same with family tree. And it was the same with me, of course, years and years ago. We never knew who our great-grandparents were. I don't think my mum even... Well, she did know about um, Mary Ann Oak Brooks. She did know about her. My mum always said we came from finer things. We had long, slim fingers. Piano fingers, she said I had. She always used to say that. And she used to like looking round big houses and castles and that. But, you see, her grandmother came from a rich background but ended up living in the east end of London with her husband all, all her life you know they lived together they were intellectual types apparently well read um, but of course my mum's great grandmother would have been Elizabeth Mason and there must have been, at some point, somebody possibly knew about Elizabeth Mason. And her father, James, and her mother, Anne Isaacson. So, God, this is a pain in the ass coming down here, isn't it? I've never noticed it this slippery before. Um... Anyway, what I'm saying is, a lot of people don't know their own history very far back. And you can tell that by who do you think you are. People seem to be totally surprised about who their grandparents were on occasions. But some people don't even know their parents. This is very dodgy, you know. It's taken me a long time. That old man said it was slippery, and I have fallen before now. These boots... I wait for walking, but they're not made for slip. I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks, and concentrate.